Spoilers for the anime. I spent a solid two days raving about this anime to my friend, and I am almost positive she considered hiring a hitman at one point. This is Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. I remember starting the manga over a year ago on this and having almost the exact same reaction to it. What is that reaction, you ask? And here is a screenshot of me on Discord while catching back up on the manga. And another. I think that gives a general idea of how I feel about this show. Anyway, it's a show about a Russian girl studying in Japan who likes this guy, the main character, and uses Russian to hide the fact that she likes him. Except he understands Russian. So instead of being a show about a clueless main character who gets led around on a fucking goose chase the entire season like most rom-coms, this guy knows exactly what's up. Exactly. Due to him knowing exactly what she's saying all the time, the calm part of this rom-com is him dying of secondhand embarrassment every time she practically throws herself at him. This is gonna be a fucking masterpiece. Let's start with the main character. Kuze sleeps in class, plays gacha games, and is overall just a lazy motherfucker. But over the course of the first episode, it becomes pretty apparent that he does this on purpose to make himself more approachable and kind of blend into the background. Later on, we see that he considers this a self-indulgent, selfish act to service his own laziness. It becomes quite apparent that he blames himself for leaving his family's pressure on his own little sister, and despite acting like he gives zero shits, he is very determined to see other people's efforts succeed. He's a surprisingly deep character under all the- And speaking of his little sister, that's this girl. Suo Yuki is not a love interest, she's his literal blood-related sibling. He just can't refer to her as such because of family drama reasons. And any of you who think otherwise are sick in the head. I think animes desensitize people to the topic of incest to the point where if there's a sibling in a rom-com and they happen to be the opposite gender of the main character, they get labeled as a love interest. Her role in this anime isn't as a rival to Alia, at least in the romantic sense, but as an agitator. She messes with the poor Russian girl who doesn't know anything by making her eat way too much spicy food and also convincing her that she needs to win Masachika's hand somehow. Think of her like this anime's version of Deadpool. She's a fucking goblin. She'll do shit like grab her brother's ankle from under his bed when he wakes up, purposefully get out of the shower naked when he gets home to mess with him and trigger the event, and also offer free fan service to the audience directly and call her brother an idiot while doing it. She carries the entire show on her back, there's no contest. The best thing about the relationship these siblings have is that it's much deeper than it actually seems, with both characters being complete goofballs on the surface, but having the immense pressure of the Suo family name weighing both of them down. Despite Masashika already having left the family, he feels guilty for making Yuki shoulder that responsibility. This show reminds you about that pressure every single time you let your guard down, and it's what makes these two characters feel so human. Looking to the other pair of siblings, we've got Alia and Masha. Alia is pretty self-explanatory. She's a hard-working Russian girl who likes the main character and hides her feelings by speaking them out loud in Russian. Which, if you've ever met a bilingual person, you'd know how terrible of an idea that is, but go off, I guess. Masha, though, she's the reason why I came up with the title of this video. By the time you meet Masha in the show, there's probably a very large question floating in your mind. Just who is the girl that Masashka learned Russian for when he was a kid? It's pretty apparent it's not Alia because she has zero recollection of it and just has the wrong hair color, but the show seems to be pointing it towards the fact that it's Alia, and it's confusing since they're so similar and- Oh. Oh no. In classic Japanese rom-com fashion, you just can't take away that childhood friend archetype, can you? Everyone thought it was gonna be Yuki. And then Yuki turned out to be the fourth wall breaking gremlin sister, so of course it has to be someone completely different. Introducing the caring Russian older sister childhood friend who is also a clumsy ditz who likes stuffed animals and constantly makes the colon three face. And still has the wrong hair color, but fuck it we ball. To be fair, up until this point in the anime, it's pretty clear that she neither is nor does she intend to be any competition to Alia. In fact, she's very similar to Masachka in the way that she intentionally acts all silly in order to take attention away from herself. So for now, she merely serves as a reminder that you will never be patted on the head and praised for all the effort you have put in. Better cut out all the sugar in your life because this is going to give you so much diabetes your third born grandchild is going to have it. 
Anyway, this script has crossed into the second page on Google Docs, which means editing me is going to try to put this off for seven whole days before actually deciding to do anything with the recording. So I'm ending it here before I start rambling about Yuki again. My name is Sue, and if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Guys, I don't think she was joking.